Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, wherever you are, whenever you are. It is The Rock, and it is currently 8 p.m. on the east coast of the United States, and that means it's time for Fallout New Vegas. We're going to have some fun tonight. Hello, Philippe. Hello, HP. How are you, my friends? Good to see you both. And I'd say we'll probably have some more people before the evening is through. HP, your enthusiasm is uh, is to be commended. I know it's really, really early in the morning for you. Um, <clears throat> and Philippe as well, not as early, but uh, certainly glad both of you are here. The way I have prepared for this, as you may know, I think both of you do know that uh, I playing Fallout New Vegas is basically blind for me. I played it a little bit when it first came out, got busy with life, and never did get very far in it. I got to Prim, so that's not far in. This evening, it's very hot here. Uh, it's actually like 80 degrees right now, almost 80 degrees at 8 p.m., which is crazy considering it's April for my part of the world. But it is um, clear and very dry. I've got myself a ice cold sarsaparilla here. I thought I'd, you know, fully get the effect going and have a nice uh, thematic drink. So pull up the beverage or snack of your choice and get comfy. Um, is the audio okay? Is my voice loud enough? Is the mute? Can you hear the game audio okay? Is it too loud? You can let me know as we get started. Okay, good. Awesome. I also have the latency turned to ultra low, so hopefully there won't be a tremendous delay. Awesome. Thanks, both of you. Really appreciate that, Philippe and HP. Um, yay. Thanks for the cheers, too. We are going to talk about the Fallout TV show a little bit, too. Um, I watched it, and... I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, we can kind of talk about it as we go. Um, the focus of the evening is going to be on New Vegas. But um, the show, I thought, looked good. I think the the themes were quite excellent. Um, it was a slow burn, though. It was a little bit of a slow burn. The first couple episodes... Maybe the first three were, uh, you know, they definitely took their time, but it, it worked out in the end. It, it looked a lot like Fallout 4, but um, as, as the series went on, I think the set direction was quite good. And, and it looked more and more like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, actually, as we got later and later in the story they were telling. Let's go ahead and start the game and we can chat about the show as we go i'm fine with starting a new game i'm so excited i'm also nervous <laughs> because this one is so beloved I do. I do remember this like it was yesterday, actually. This is very memorable. Boom. Splat. The Legion. They're watching. Oh, here we go. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. War. War never changes. 
When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. There we go. Yes, uh, Philippe. We'll talk about Shady Sands. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that was uh, surprising to see it as a crater. That was absolutely uh, important in the first game, for sure. And also in the second, I do believe. Okay, here's our DLC stuff. We are playing the Ultimate Edition. And um, while we'll, we're paused right here, that's one of the interesting things about the TV show that a lot of people are debating right now, because... Bethesda said that this uh, that the show is canon, <clears throat> but that it takes place after all of the games that have come out so far. Well, at one point in the show, um, you see a a blackboard, and I and I hope this is not after what you've seen, Philippe. It, if it is, it's not a huge deal. But there's there's a blackboard that has a timeline on it about Shady Sands. And it says 2277, as in the year 2277, Fall of Shady Sands, and then Mushroom Cloud. And the question is, well, 2277, that's 200 years after the Great War. That's the same time frame as the games, except for Fallout 76. So, what, I like, are we rewriting... Uh, some people are worried that Bethesda is trying to retcon Fallout 1 and 2 out of the canon, but I think it's just oversight, really. But we'll see. 
Okay, so this is the ultimate edition. I've got... Um... Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Well, I can certainly tell you a name. It's not Courier. It's Rock. Uh, HP, I think Philippe has not seen the last episode. So, um... We'll, it, Fallout New Vegas probably has something to do with Season 2, but we'll leave it at that. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Again, can you hear can you hear him speaking okay? Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your Oh, no worries, man. All the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? I really liked in the TV show how the theme of parents and their children and what the connection between the generations and the role that plays in storytelling. Um, that is has been a theme in Fallout basically from the beginning. Not so much in Fallout 1, but, but, but it's definitely been there. You know, the, the vault as the family certainly... Um, but there is a lot of uh, strife between Lucy and her father and his backstory. And again, we, we won't say this, we won't say out loud because Philippe doesn't know yet, but we finally know what caused the Great War. So that, and it's, it's something that I think has been suspected and theorized about for a long time. But... Uh, Let's see. I'm not going to spend too too much time like, uh, you know, this this is okay. I don't love the mustache, but uh, give him a little bit of age there. What's next? Hair. I like the hairstyle. Let's see. Color. My hair is, uh, it's not like that. What little hair I have left is, uh, well, it's, it's, reddish with some gray but i don't like the idea of our courier being uh you know like silver haired but let's just give him uh how about that that's good that's good facial hair uh i did we're gonna go with uh let's go with the gunslinger i did kind of uh look ahead a little bit to 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 speed this process up some so here's here's a good um, a good thing to think about. Yeah, this is fine. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Mm-hmm. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I keep thinking of Saul Ty. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? From Battlestar. A bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Yeah, take it slow, he says. Yeah, we're just gonna run right over there. Looking good so far. Yeah, it is pretty good. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay, so here's the thing. I've been thinking about the character and his backstory. And this will play into our special choice here. So I think that our character is someone who really does not owe much of an allegiance to anyone. Uh, when he was growing up, he was, his, his mother is from Shady Sands actually. And his father was some kind of an outcast. He was a drifter, maybe, maybe a merchant or something like that who came to Shady Sands um, on a caravan train and met our mother and the caravan company that he was working for double crossed him I'm not sure in, in what way but it's not super important but it, it was a troubled relationship to begin with 
Um, maybe they decided to just cut him loose. I'm not sure. Maybe they got some kind of, you know, crazy offer. Maybe something happened to him like what just happened to us. I don't know. But he ended up getting cut loose. And that sent him on a mad uh, downward spiral of drink and depression. And it led to my mother and me and my father being ostracized from Shady Sands and the NCR. And we lived out in the waste as outcasts, hermits. Out to fend for ourselves in the elements and the mutated animals. And it was just a, a hellish childhood. Father died of a chem overdose not long after we got there. But the laws are the laws and mother couldn't go back to the NCR. So we stayed out in the wilderness until one night when I was 14 years old. A giant rad scorpion slipped into our camp at night, stung my mother to death. So all of a sudden I'm 14, I am an orphan, but living in the wastes gave me a sense of survival and a sense of uh, stick to that uh, has helped me live this long. And I guess it's my father's background as a, um, as a caravan merchant that led me to a career as a courier. I'd been out hunting, uh, living in the wilds as a hunter for years. Even some rich folks would come by and hire me out to go on ex excursions into the wilds. Um, one day I just had enough of it. I decided I needed to make some real money and, and settle down. Didn't know where to settle until I wandered into the town of Prim and took a job as a courier. And I did that for maybe a month or so until I got this really lush contract to take this silver chip to someone for some reason. And I end up getting shot in the head by this jerk in a black and white checked suit coat. And here I am in Doc Mitchell's uh, house, standing in front of a vigor tester. So we're going to be looking at somebody who's decent with guns, decent with survival, um, okay strength, but endurance is going to be, you know, up there. But luck is also going to be up there, okay? Because... We had every reason not to survive, and we did. But this also means when we go out into the world that we're going to be a little less trusting of the NCR than your average player might be. Uh, but we won't worry about that too much until we get out there. Our life as an outcast has connected us to no particular faction. We are not going to like Caesar's Legion, I'll tell you that much, because the um, obsessiveness and the addiction problems that our father had, we saw that as a, as, a, as a form of slavery. And so we want nothing to do with slavers. Our strength is going to be uh, pretty average, I think five. If you all want to tell me what you think good special stats would be, please chime in but right now I'm thinking five for strength perception um I wish you could just click here you can't click here six let's see is that what we want I have a notebook going perception six uh no we we are that um, thank you HP that is a good thing to bring up witnessing what that's done to our father we're going to be um loathe to touch alcohol but other chems we are okay with because we see the benefit you know and our father basically drank himself to death so alcohol is something we're gonna shy away from uh chems we use sparingly endurance um this affects your hit points, I think, right? 
So I think we want a six here too. Let's see. I have some... While this is a blind playthrough, I am looking at... I did look ahead and to kind of get an idea of what perks might be out there and what perks might be locked behind certain special uh, scores. But I think endurance is okay at a six. Um, we actually might want to do seven because we may want to get an implant later. And don't you have to have a seven to get the implant? Not sure. Charisma. Okay. We have lived out in the boonies our entire life. Okay. Uh, well, not entire life. We were small children when we were living in Shady Sands. But for the most part, we have lived like hermits out in the wasteland. So our charisma is not very good. Um, I know typically people use this as a dump stat anyway. I like to play with high charisma. Normally, we did with in Fallout 3, if you'll recall. But in this case... We'll leave maybe two, we may drop it to one. Intelligence, we are highly intelligent. I'm sorry, I think the mic peaked there. We are highly intelligent. I'm thinking with weapons, we'll mostly use energy weapons and, um, you know, like small guns. We're also going to be, we like to be light on our feet because we've always been on the move. So we will be wearing light armor. And I'll be going probably for the light touch perk at level 2. Because of that. Intelligence. Intelligence. Let's see. 8 for now. Agility. Now, in Fallout 3 we used uh, vats quite a bit. We're going to use vats some here. But, remember... Our guy is not a vault dweller, so using a pip boy is not exactly his. Um, it, it, it's not second nature to him because he did not grow up in a vault. So we're gonna rely less on vats, I think. Mm, but we we are going to eventually become uh, someone who is a sniper. We're gonna do sniper for sure. And to get the sniper perk at level 12, we have to have 6 agility. So I think we're going to go, go that there. Now, luck. Um, I'd actually like to have a little higher luck. Because our guy is mad lucky. I know that having high luck is good for money in this game. Is that not right? I think Philippe mentioned that. Yeah. 10 luck equals 10,000 caps. Lol. Yeah. The question is, is seven luck, is lucky seven, is seven luck enough? I know it's enough for the perks that I want to get later. Or at least I think it is. Uh, misfortune requires the luck of six. So does Mysterious Stranger. Well, you know, you're right. You're right, HP. He. It could be argued that he has been unlucky because he was um, orphaned at the age of 14. We could drop some luck here. I mean, easy wins at the casino are nice. Oh, no worries, Philippe. Um, I believe anything over a six is Plenty for the casino? I think I read that somewhere. Way back when. Uh, so let's let's review. See if we're happy with this. Alright. Strength. We're going with five. Really? You think I should have luck that high? So we're going to go five strength. Um, I had considered doing a melee build for this, but I just don't think I would enjoy melee in this game. Okay. All right, HP. 
Um, five should be okay. I, I know that we're going to be pack rats in this like we always are. So carry weight is going to be a thing. Um, I, I worry about melee. I mean, I don't know. It just seems like <laughs> this <laughs> this game engine is so weird. I, I just I just can't imagine doing this in melee, but maybe I should. Uh, you know what I should do? I should do explosives, right? Because I'm so good with grenades. Maybe I should force myself. Perception 6. Why did I want Perception 6? This is for a perk at some point, I'm sure. It's for the sniper perk. But that doesn't, that's not a thing until level 12. We need Perception 6 and Agi 6 at least for those two. Energy weapons. Okay, very good. Uh, accuracy and uh, compass range. Compass range, I guess, is the least important thing there. So we got six, six, uh, six. This may be a little too well-rounded. Two in charisma, eight in intelligence, six in agility, seven luck. Oh, there's a review page. Derp, herp, a derp. Okay. Um, that's convenient. I tell you, I feel like I'm a little spread out. Like, I don't know. This seems a little bit too middle of the road. What do y'all think? I mean, it's probably fine. Because there, there are ways to adjust your special. Obviously, there's equipment. There's, there's chems. There's the implants. <clears throat> I think I think this is probably fine. I mean, it's my experience that Fallout is um, not super difficult. You know? And again, we're just going to be stumbling through because as HP pointed this out, this, this is a blind run. If I knew what I was doing, you know, I'd probably, um, um, you know, be more fine-tuned. Hey! Untouched Trey, thank you for joining us. Good to have you in the stream, my friend. Welcome. So you think I should dump charisma and bump strength? I mean, I'm fine with that because, I mean, the difference between two charisma and one charisma and, and, and one is probably not that much. I, I know it does affect something to do with your companions. You know? So, this is probably fine. This is probably fine. Okay. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Well, oh, you think? Your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Okay. See if your dogs are still barking. We'll do it. Sit on ruined couch. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Oh no, it's one of these. Dog. Cat. House. Burglarize. What? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Um I, I I don't it's an investment. Night. Day. Day is not a day is not a choice. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? A uh, dream. Bandit. Crush. Light. Dark. Mother. Dead. <laughs> Is that one? No. Regret. Yep. Regret because of the rad scorpion. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Okay. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Uh, I don't really, I mean, I disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh, this would be real strong agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Mm -hmm, disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Mm, disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Well, I don't know. The, our character, I don't think he's going to be one of those. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see. It's a praying mantis. 
Um, an angry two-headed ant. That's the best one. Okay. How about this one? That's a cello. It's a priceless work of art. It's some piece of space tech, not space age technology, a ship at sea. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it. I mean, I, I kind of see the ship. Like, this is the bow, and we're looking at it, you know, head on. The masts or smokestacks, and this, this is the water. We'll, we'll just say that. Last one. Um, it looks like gnomes. Two garden gnomes. Uh, head on a pillow, mushroom, cl mushroom cloud, of course. Well, that's all she wrote. Two bears high fiving. Yeah. Have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. Yeah, I think I should. See if it all seems right to you. Ah, uh, we'll do that. Okay. Well, look, look, it picked melee weapons for us. How funny. How funny is that? Um, <laughs> you know, is it, is this, is this the, the fates telling us what we're supposed to be doing here? I've never done a melee playthrough of any Fallout game, so. I don't know, maybe this is the time. Maybe this is the time. Can I make a Death Claw gauntlet? And just go to town. Yeah, I'm not interested in sneak really for this. Um, I tell you, I tell you. I, well, survival is one. We already talked about that because of our background, right? We've been living out in the wasteland on our own for years. Mother died when we were 14. Well, we will say now that the courier is 34. So we've been out in the wilderness for 20 years. And just getting bitter and full of poison, you know. So survival is definitely up there. Repair is definitely up there because we are self-sufficient in our background. Because we've been, again, out on our own. And, hmm... Medicine. Medicine. Wouldn't it be? I mean, melee weapons. I don't know. I just don't think I would enjoy a melee playthrough. I really don't. Um, at least not a first time, you know. I'm going to say that medicine should be the third one because of our background, right? And HP brings up a good point. Should we play survival mode? It. Okay, that is the question I had. Was that something I should have selected from the game menu or is it going to ask me to turn that on later because I thought about doing it but I don't know how entertaining that would be for a stream alright so medicine repair survival we're good Before I, turn you loose, I, need one more thing from you. I need to steal everything in your house hmm. just a formality ain't like that expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Uh, not getting shot in the head, per se. Okay. Here we go. Now this, I'm... I did a lot of study on this ahead of time so that we would not be wasting time here. Because analysis paralysis is a real thing. And if y'all been watching me any amount of time, you know that I get stuck, you know, so here's here's what I'm thinking. Hello, Biggie. My great Pyrenees just walked into the room, and he is. Uh, it's like I said, it's like 80 degrees here, and it's hot, and he's breathing on me. You you need to go lay down. Okay. Um. So we got suggestions here. Wild wasteland. That one is a fun one, right? That's the one. Let's see. What does it say? Yeah. Bizarre and silly elements in post-apocalyptic America. Possibly take that. Possibly take that. I think I want to take skilled. Right? I definitely want to take skilled. Now, it's my understanding there is a bug with this particular trait. You can... I can pick it now, and then when I leave Good Springs, I can respect the character, pick it again, unpick it, and then pick it again, and I'll get plus 10 
points to every skill, uh, but suffer only only the flat 10%. So I want to take that for sure. Logan's Loophole, no way in hell. This would be good on a second playthrough, I think. I think there's ways you could spec your character that this would be fun, but not for a first time. Uh, and I really think, let's see. Good natured is tempting. But Wild Wasteland, I think, is uh, good. I think that would be good because we would encounter a lot of weird stuff, right? So I know HP likes Wild Wasteland. What do, what do we think, chat? Skilled and Wild Wasteland, does that sound good? As opposed to uh, good... I was going to take good natured, but... You know, it... I, again, with all the DLC, which we do have, I'm thinking that we end up with enough points to get 100 and everything before it's over with, so... We're going to go with it. All right, I guess that about does it. Thank you, okay, Philippe. You Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Now it's time to steal everything in the house. In our underwear. That's not remotely unusual. Can we take the spittoon? No, cannot. Uh, you do take everything, right? I mean, that's 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 uh, what we do. I mean, I don't know what our... I mean, thank God we got the extra point of strength, right? Untouched tray, you know, you, you, you God. Um, you God among men. Wait a minute. How do I crouch? Control. See, is there no crouch? Whatever. Pre-war book. I'll just take all this stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Good luck, are empty. Oh, Somerset is uh, property, really? All right. So if it's red, I won't take it. I'm probably going to, like, fill up on, uh... Oh, five caps. Buffalo gourd. Pork and beans. Ammo box. Cram. All kinds of stuff. We're, we're just going to load on up. I don't have a pit boy yet, so I can't turn the light on. <laughs> That's hilarious, Philippe. Does that that does that include the underwear? Gecko kebab. I'm not normally a you know, like total klepto, but this is somewhat of a tradition. Uh, so uh, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Oh, we gotta have a giant sack of yeast. I mean, who doesn't want a giant sack of yeast? I mean, that's a be-all and end-all item right there. Plunger, yeah, good. That's our carry way. Oh, we don't have the pit boy yet, so we don't know. We don't know. Oh, here's this uh, stuff. Now... Oh, yeah. Th th here we go. Th this will sell for some. I he's a doctor. He doesn't need to be smoking anyway. It's bad for you. We can't sleep in his bed, but we can steal his chest set. Um. Well, I've got brain damage. Th this is this is the thing. I mean, when you go around resuscitating random strangers in a, that you found in a pit in a graveyard, you got to anticipate some... Eccentricities, right? And th believe me, this is not the weirdest thing that will ever happen in this game. And not the weirdest thing that will happen in... Uh, or to Doc Mitchell in this game, so... I have a feeling... Let's see. I have a feeling... That there's more to this guy than meets the... I'm over-encumbered, son of a bitch. Okay. Wait a minute. This, I just got, this is the room with the good stuff. 
I guess I could always come back in here and, uh, like, you need to have this. To repair it. See? There, the repair. Tagging the repair came in handy. And here we are. How long are we into the game? Not long at all. And I'm already uh, dumping crap in a box. I mean, come on. Let's just... I mean, this is kind of crazy. I don't really need all this stuff. Um, activate chemistry set. Uh, our science is not that great, is it? I don't think it is. We'll, 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 we will fool with that later. Hey, doctor's bag. Because I know I'm going to get something blowed off. Yes. So yeah, the purpose of this is not to have all this, but it is to make caps. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Four stem packs, 18 caps, six bobby look. pins. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. Pistol. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. See, I knew there was one. something more to him. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Well, thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. I've she got it. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Metal fella? Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. What is this about but a metal fella? Try not to get killed anymore. It's pain in the ass, right? Yes, I did get the machine gun. And, uh... Excuse me. I patched it up, and I've, I've, it's ready to roll. The Hardcore Mode. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time. Uh, instead of instantly, right? Ammunition has weight. Oh, that sucks. And dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on or off at any time in the gameplay menu, but if you activate it now and maintain it through to the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. Would you like to activate hardcore mode? Okay, so... Um... It says only for advanced players. Now, we just finished a playthrough of Fallout 3, not all that long ago. And my muscle memory is still intact from that. Um, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking we do this. I think we do it. Let's go. Again, we can always turn it off. If it, if it you know, rinses me and repeats me, right? I can turn it off. But I think we'll be okay. Okay. So now we have a pit boy. And I've always liked this amber. I like how this game is like so damn brown, right? It's such a product of its time. Um it this <laughs> the amber screen on the pit boy just is just awesome. Weapons. Okay, we this is we understand this. Correct? Mm-hmm. Condition, repair. Repairing is much easier in this game. We can make weapon repair kits. I remember that. We have this weathered 10 mil pistol. This Is this a DLC thing? Not sure. We got some throwing spears, shotgun. Here's a submachine gun that we picked up here in the house. So now Doc Mitchell is... Um, uh, defenseless. Yep. Cowboy robot. Yep. I remember him. He's the metal fella, right? Yeah, I understand. It's okay. Aid. Miscellaneous. Ammo. Now, we have different ammo subtypes. Press, I think, 2 on the keyboard to change it. Yep, 2 to cycle through them. 
Got it. Uh, radio. Okay, we're not going to be listening to the radio because copyright. Uh, quests. Here we go. Deliver the package. This is what we got shot for. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Uh, we know him because this is how we got hooked up with uh, the um, the Mojave Express. We joined up at Prim. Manifest. This package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. I'm sorry. I think I said silver chip earlier. Platinum chip. Contract penalties. This is legalese. It's okay. All right. Um, so that was our job and we blew it, apparently. Let's go. We're over encumbered. We're going to sell some stuff. So. Here we are. Uh, it feels good to start a new Fallout. Okay, here we go. Old World Blues. This is the DLC rolling in. Level cap raised by five. The Reunion. Courier 6. Signed Ulysses. Hmm. I think that's the Lonesome Road. Yep. Happy Trails. Picked up a radio broadcast from Happy Trails. This is Lonely Hearts, I think. Yep. It'd be a while before we'd be doing any DLC. I'm not sure what the le recommended levels of for the DLC are, but... Look here. Look who we have. That's that's a, that's a Victor. Gunrunner's Arsenal. Yep. We got it loaded. Tell you what. I'm going to throw some... Why are binoculars a weapon? I guess because you can you aim with them, right? I'm sorry to put you all through this. I, I'm going to try and control myself. Uh, some... We'll just stash this in, in Doc Mitchell's <laughs> uh, mailbox. He'll be okay. Well, our character is very much interested in revenge on the man that put him in the ground. Okay, that's that's the main thing. And we are not super happy with the NCR because of the way they treated our mother. Because our father is the one that got us kicked out of Shady, Shady Sands. But he died, and they still wouldn't let Mom and me back in. So we are not super buddy buddy with the NCR. We're not buddy buddy with anybody. We kind of we're real like hesitant to get in too deep with anybody. But that may change. I mean, our character is not a total, you know, brick wall, so to speak. He he's not got a heart of stone. But he has to be tough on the outside to survive. Sierra Madre grand opening. Begin again. I know that phrase. The Dead Money DLC. Um, this is a blind let's play except for the beginning of the game till we get to Prim. And the, um, the Sierra Madre uh, DLC. Um... That one I played through with a friend when when it came out. That's creepy as heck. Yeah. Am I looking forward to reliving that? I maybe. I mean, it is a it is a change of pace. I know that much. But the rest of the game, I know nothing. Hey, Victor. Is that his name? Yep, Victor. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, you pretty good yourself. Uh, well, I mean, thanks, but we, again, we're not charismatic, so we wouldn't say that. We would say, I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Brothers, huh? Uh, how did you find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. 
saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Did you now? Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Huh. Well. Uh. I mean, I guess thanks. I guess I'll cave. He seems nice, right? But. I, I, I sense there's probably more to this. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Mm-hmm. All right. So, you see, I'm already... <laughs> I got buttered up by a robot. I, I've betrayals. got... I've got to stay in character. Y'all y'all are going to have to keep me in character. Something worse than a death claw. Criminy. <laughs> Can't get in the wagon. Okay. Well, where's he going, by the way? Like... Why is, I mean, okay, why is there a robot hanging out in this place? Cazador. Cazador, that rings a bell. I guess we'll find out when we get to him. Hopefully I won't shriek like a total uh, shriek. Let's go. Ooh, what got in here? Okay, Sunset Sesperilla. Um, yeah, so this is, I am drinking a sarsaparilla right now, ice cold. Well, it was ice cold, it's because it's like 80 degrees here. It is no longer ice cold. We got a reloading bench, okay, we got a workbench, we remember this from Fallout 3. Alright, I'll get the, oh, th that one's red. What's this thing? Oh yes, I remember this, you can put stuff in this. And then when you find another one of these, you can get get it out of it. It's kind of like fast travel for your stuff. Dumpster, what's in there? Oh, that's very reassuring, HP. I'll take the caps. Leave the rest. Uh, we were supposed to hunt, find Sunny Smiles, but this is the store, right? Let me go in here. I'm going to sequence break a little. And sell this man. I'm a stranger. Hi. You've got a vault tech chair, good sir. Uh, I'm going to turn your radio off. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. It is I. I heard it. I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Ooh. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Uh, well. What makes it inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Oh, we don't want that. Tell me about these mods you've got. They're so great. Tell me about them. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Hmm. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Right, because they fragment. You know anything about the people that attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Mm -hmm. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Oh, yeah. My character is very familiar with the great cons. Um, being out in the wasteland on my own, they were always um, an entity to watch out for. I met some of them, though, and they were somewhat friendly. Often wanted to trade, sometimes for chems, sometimes for caps. Anything else you can tell me about the Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? That fits in. That fits in. Wait, I... You're, you're preaching to the choir here, dude. Uh, Chet... Hey, you ever been to New Vegas? 
twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. Mm. In that order, now that I think about it. Really? If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Okay. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. All right. What do you got for sale? Can do. We going to sell you some stuff. You only have 875 caps. But... We're going to sell you that. Yeah, I'll keep that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll keep the broad machete. For now. Throwing spear. We'll, we'll keep them. We might experiment with that. I don't know. Vault 21 jumpsuit. So he... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so is the doc from Vault 21... Anywho, we're uh, we're gonna keep that. We're going to have a rating armor. I don't know. That's uh, damage threshold four. Lightweight metal armor. This is medium armor. We're not gonna be using metal armor. I mean medium armor. We're going to. Um, yeah, apparently he must be. Uh, lightweight. We're we're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. Um, we're going to be using light armor in this. Lightweight leather armor. Damage threshold 8. Uh, I'll sell that. Yeah, I mean... Uh, we're going to keep this stuff. I mean, we're probably going to need this, right? Because we uh, we have hardcore on. That means we got to eat and sleep and, you know, that whole thing. Um, again, you know, I don't know what all we're going to need and what we're not going to need. It, the, the, you, things that were not useful in Fallout 3 are useful in this game. At least that's my understanding. These books are useful later, right? SR 2008, good to see you, my friend. Time zones are tricky. They are indeed tricky. Um, did you miscalculate when I would be on? Sorry if you did that. I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I, I'm, just, I'm just gonna sell this. It doesn't matter. We need caps. That's what we need. Well, hey, I understand that. I live on a farm, so I know all about making the most of the daylight. Right, a destroyed book. Ruin book. Scorch book. Paperweight. Toaster. We're going to keep the canteen. Uh, we're going to sell these. Didn't I pick up a carton? I must have put them somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah. Ammo has weight because we're, we're doing that. Why did I do that to myself? Okay. And why is my weight like... I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, What has he got to buy? Anything good? I'm not seeing anything I have to have. I should be filtering this, so uh, let's see. I've, the mouse wheel, of course, lets you do that. Nothing great. I, you know, sometimes he has a energy weapon that you can recharge, but I'm not seeing it. That would be cool to have. Uh, SR 2008, uh, 140, they're about, eh, 
Okay. Okay, we want to accept. That's good enough. We'll worry about this in a little bit. Yeah, we don't... How do we know to even ask about Mr. House? I'm not sure about that, so I'm not going to. Take it easy now. Okay, we'll see ya. Now we gotta go find this Sunny Smiles. Hey, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Um... Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Mm. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Well, I feel you there. I'm not going to ask what's wrong with the NCR because we know. Um, <clears throat> you're a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? No, no. <clears throat> Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Ah. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Yeah. Well, I I definitely, you know, I, I can relate to this guy completely. Because our backstory of survival in the wasteland after our parents uh, passed away. And owing allegiance to no one. I mean, me and Easy Pete, we were cut from the same cloth. Did you ever find anything good? Nope. Had nope. a pretty good uh -huh. claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Hmm. Well, I understand that. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots, as as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Hmm. Um. Well, yeah, Victor. Let's talk about Victor. What do you know about him? The machine? Harmless. <laughs> no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, what do you use those big horners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. <laughs> Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Okay, so that's important information for us. If we run into big horners out in the boonies, they could attack us. Well, Easy Pete, it's been nice meeting you, man. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Oh. Critters move in there sometimes. Gotcha. Now, it is my understanding that Good Springs is a real place in Nevada. And this place... And uh, him mentioning the schoolhouse is what made me think of that, because there, there's this little schoolhouse there, and I think I think there's a saloon or something there that it, it looks something like this. I'm not sure. I've never been. So, Anywho. Cheyenne, stay. Well, hello. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, I'm in love. Have I found... Have I forgotten about Moira already? Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Um... Is there, Philippe? That's cool. I may have to go to that one of these days. Alright, so what would my character say? I need to get to Prim. That, that is something that, um... We we do need to get to Prim, but we know the way, I think, because, again, we've been a courier for about six months, I think, was uh, what I had imagined. And we've been in the wilderness for a long time, so we we, could, we got kind of a, a scent, a nose for direction. Um, yeah, well, let's chatter up a little bit first. What do you do around here? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Hmm, surely. 
So again, I just, you know, that this is a woman after my own heart. Doug Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Okay. So here's the thing. Our character, the backstory I've created for him is he already knows how to survive. Okay. But this is the tutorial for the game. So we're going to kind of break character for this and just do it. Yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Mm -hmm. Meet me outside behind we, the saloon. We could say that since we did get shot in the head, that maybe we're still a little disoriented. Or better yet, our character has been instantly smitten by Sunny Smiles and just wants an excuse to spend time with her. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. And you know, she has a dog, so she's like the perfect... Fallout player character in and of herself. There she is. There's Cheyenne. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the. Oh, you like there? that HP? <laughs> Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay, let me see if I can screw it up. Uh, to fire your weapon, push mouse one. There we go. So we zoom in, and instantly. We have iron sights, which we did not have in Fallout 3. This is a huge improvement. And I missed. There we That's go. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Yeah, I'm looking down the sight, sweetie. Here Try crouching down and staying still. Um. Oh, yeah, there we go. Control. Next ah, shot. yes. That's well, nice. that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight Sarsaparilla bombs. See, I'm on one knee. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Attracted, you say? Uh huh. Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay. Uh, let's go. How do you, uh. There you go. Let's go get us a gecko. Let's go get us a geck. Uh, not a geck, a gecko. We don't want a geck. I want nothing to do with a geck. I, I've still got PTSD from that. No gek. Gecko. Different. Hold it, that's a different thing. Where are we going? You know what I need to do is hit F5. There we go. So yeah, the Fallout TV show. I, I was so relieved that it was actually good. It brought up some interesting ideas like, you know... The value of life and the value of family and that sort of thing. Would you want to be someone who survived a nuclear war or would you rather just be one of the ones that's vaporized? You know? A lot of questions to Hear ask. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Oh, yeah. A bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Really? Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly. We can get the jump on them. Okay. More likely to hit something vital that way. Sounds good. Yes. Uh, the way they dealt with the Brotherhood of Steel okay. was pretty You're cool. On. Go give them hell. They were uh, not someone you would want to mess around with, and and it was, it was a kind of faction that I don't know why anybody would want to be in. <laughs> you know, in the TV show, but. Did I miss? I must have missed. These geckos. I remember how they run at you. It's hilarious. Hit him. They run at you with a little mouth open. So funny. Again, we're going to try and relate, uh, rely less on vats. Radiated geckos coming to a town near you. Yep. They show is. They show enough is. Uh, crouch is also not. I don't have to hold it down. I guess I got them all, didn't I? Yeah. I don't see any more red on the canvas. Did I get them all? See? You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Okay. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay, I'll come with you. That's what she said. She literally said it. Y'all heard it. 
I didn't loot the gecko corpse, but something tells me we're going to have a lot of gecko corpses to loot. So. Hey, hey, hey. Look at her going in guns blazing. Ugh. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Wait, where is she? Did Sunny just, uh... Should I take this? Um, where is... Where did Sunny go? There's the dog. Gecko's got her. Oh, really? We don't want that. Is she dead? And I don't see her laying here. That's pretty lame. Yeah. I think she did. I think she did. I mean, I'm tempted to reload on that. Water valve. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Let's uh let's just pretend that didn't happen. We can't have Sunny just fading into non existence, right? Uh, oh well. It's uh it is what it is. I think I think that we may experience some bugs in this playthrough. What do y'all think? May have been. I need to keep an eye on her this time. Let's see, the gun's reloaded. You know what might not be a bad idea, actually, is, uh, let's, this gun is in better shape. This is probably. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Yep. Bunch of little monsters as well. Let's see if we. we yep. Okay, let's get them. Let's get them. This may not be okay. more They're accurate, on. but. Go give them help. Yeah, yeah, this is sucks. This is uh, trying to shoot him from this range with a handgun is stupid. Unvarmed. The gun, the varmint rifle is very accurate. Well, comparatively. Here they come. Again, I love how they run. Uh, I don't like how they're running. Okay. There we go. Talk to Sunny. We're going to loot them. Now we'll talk to her. We're See? not going to pick back. You're getting the hang of it. I'm getting it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. She didn't like my, that's what she said joke last time. That's what it was. Good job. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Come with me, she says. I mean, again, she literally says it. Sometimes something close and personal is the only way. We may yet experiment with melee in this in this uh, playthrough. One of the cool things about Fallout uh, is that you can experiment quite a bit. I'm going to use bats here. I'm going to stand right in front of her. Yes. We, yes, I see. I understand how it works. Okay. We don't have a lot of action points, but... Oh, look at me. I don't look remotely like a child molester. Cheyenne, get out of the way. Where is she? There she is. Alright, she's going that way. You know, I bet that's what it was. She said there was a couple places to clear out, didn't she? Yeah. Let's reload. That's probably what it was. But it's weird that the dog didn't go with her last time. So maybe she did fade into non-existence. She tapped in a console command and just GTFO'd, you know. She's like, who is this creep in a vault suit running around with this waxed mustache? Oh, ho, ho. Boom. Oh, you love to see it, right? No, oh, they're, they're harassing someone. I think we, uh, I'm glad, that's over. I'm glad it's over. 
Oh, there's someone there. All right, Sunny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Sure did. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Again, we're going to break character for this. Um, it's mostly just we, we want to hang out with Sunny. That's all it is. We're not breaking character. We just want to hang out with Sunny. So we're going to say couldn't hurt. We're, suave is suave as hell, you know. Couldn't all hurt. Right then. <laughs> We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. I think I'll twist my mustache. And a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Indeed. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. All right. So she's going off. Parts unknown. Holy moly! If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. Sure. I came up here to draw water, but here. You should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thank you. Reputation. I'm accepted in Good Springs. That's good. Speaking of, what is our water situation? Um, all right. So question this, what does this mean? Does this mean I need to drink or not? Right? Does this go up as I get thirstier, or does it go up as I'm more and more sated? Likewise, food. Likewise, sleep. I mean... And, you know what? We need to change out of this vault suit. And I'll put the armored vault suit on. Why not? I mean... Yeah, why not? I mean, look at me. Look at me. Don't don't I just look like the man? I'm a man to be trusted. Yes, for radiation. Okay. All right. I got it. So it's the same for radiation and for the hunger, thirst, etc. Good, good, good. Okay. I assume it'll give me some kind of... Um, Warning, right? Okay. So, Xander Root and Brock Flower quest. Find a Brock Flower and a Xander Root. Um, okay. So, we here and here. Okay. Um, all right. We can do that. We are expert in the ways of the wilderness, right? Actually, I should probably reload this. And we need to set up our quick select you know, weapons. Also. So Sunny's going to be waiting somewhere. Not look very useful. Have I taken a wrong turn? I'm not. Glue man, hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I'm sorry I did not welcome you in your first chat there. Um, pretty slow and does warn you good. Good, good, good. All right. I thought it might be a neat change of pace. I finished Fallout 3 not long ago, so I feel like I understand the concept well enough. That we should be okay. And if it just drives us totally crazy, I'll just turn it off. So, schoolhouse, this is going to be the Brock flower. I can't remember. And looks like there's some monsters here. My memory serves, if, if my memory serves, there are bugs in here, right? Yeah. Again, we're, we're resisting... Uh, well, well, we we were. Is it dead? It's not dead. We are resisting the urge to bats. I did. I did. I did sweep it. 
And yes, there's probably some little things we didn't see. I'm sure there we I'm sure we didn't see everything, but we spent a long time with Fallout 3. All right. Check out the schoolhouse. I'm going to sneak a little. There's a critter. I'm missing. Again, I do not want to rely on that's this playthrough. We we used it heavily last time. But we've got iron sights this time, which is a bonus. We did not have that in Fallout 3. So I have this... It's going to feel more shootery, even though it's still not a shooter. But you know what? We have to switch here. We're going to use this. Now is our chance to hack them up. Mantis foreleg. Everybody wants to carry that around, don't they? Is that it? Yeah, I should have a big flask water. That's a good point. So, yeah, one of the things I kept having to tell myself when I was playing 3 was, I'm not playing a shooter. I'm playing an RPG with guns. So, you know, the <laughs> dice roll determining where a bullet goes was something that took a little getting used to. Ooh, what's this? Mantis Ootheca. This would be where the eggs would be. O O O Ovum is um, an egg, right? Okay, Pit Boy Light, Pit Boy Light. There we go. Metal box, something to sell. Ooh, magazine. Baseball glove, something to sell. Hammer. I mean, I could take it. I think I saw a safe in here. There's another one of them. Ooh, a thick. Ooh, this one's not been. Yeah, let's take those eggs, baby. But yeah, it's funny when, when in Fallout 3, there were several times when I would be aiming exactly at a monster, well, a monster, an enemy, with sniper rifle, and I would shoot, and the bullet would go off at like a 45 degree angle, completely away from the end of the barrel, completely in an opposite direction. But yeah, that, that's exactly it. I wanted to do a, a total, like, you know, vanilla playthrough. Um, okay, so we found some bobby pins here. We also had some. We could try to do this. What is our science? I think it's probably crap. 27, I mean, it's not great. Um, I mean, we can always reset the thing, right? Yes. Groom and group Trinity. Yeah, do, 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 do. And we have a few things here I think we can reset with probably. And here. Yeah, so this works the same way as Fallout 3. Um, and Fallout 4 for that matter. Thrower. Oh. Uh, aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad when that happens? Lucky guess, right? That luck that luck stat is kicking in. Disengage. Got it. Okay. We got antivenom, bottle cap, empty syringe, jet, mintats, pre-war money, a stealth boy, nice, super stim pack. Even nicer. You love to see it. Turn the pit boy light off. Um, we did not check in here. We did not. Anything in there? Didn't look like it. And we got bobby pins. We got bobby pins. We got a metal box. An empty new Coca Cola bottle. Um, you know, I love my new Coca Cola. But in real life, I have. You know, I love Diet Coke. If you watch the Fallout 3 playthrough, you know that. Um, but I also really love root beer. So I'll probably be 
drinking way too much soda pop during this playthrough. You know, getting in character and whatnot. Jalapeno pepper. Sign me up. Alright. So we're going to cook stuff. At some point. But we're supposed to be looking for a... Uh, Brock flower or Xander root. Something like that. I don't know what... Um... Sunset Sassaparilla. Yeah. Is there any Nuka Cola in this anywhere or not? Alright, so the, the, the marker is. I, I try not to follow markers blindly, but. Um, close the gate. Where is this? Ah, oh, here we go. Xander root. Got it. Now we need the Brock flower. I think she said that was at the graveyard. Only one quantum in this game. Oh, the chick that lives under the bridge would be um, not happy. Sierra Petrovita? Is that her name, I think? How I remember that, I don't know. Okay, let's head over to the graveyard. Uh, question. Do I have a shovel? I don't have one, but it's okay. I don't have to have one. I am a courier after all, and looking in these mailboxes is okay for me because that's my job. Okay, This is not a federal crime. I bet there was some interesting subtext there, glue man. Um, well, one of the things going back to the TV show that I really liked was the. Uh oh, do you see what I see? Oh, it see me, it see me, it's on. We well, made quick work of him, didn't we? Uh, but yeah, the the interplay of the corporations of the world before the Great War and their whole their scheming and everything that the way that was depicted in the TV show I thought was pretty cool. All right, if I had a shovel, I'd dig up some graves. As it is. Um, you know, I tell you, I'm, I'm kind of liking this melee thing. It's, it's working better than I thought it would. Take the meat. Oh yeah. Cut him up. Ooh. Oh, I totally forgot all about these. I can find a shovel where I was at the wells. Okay. Thank you, sir. You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly. What does this say? Whiskey Shakes Jr.? Okay. Where was I buried at? Is this my grave over here? I bet it is. I don't remember. The sky is so pretty. The, you know, the skybox in Fallout 3 and New Vegas is really lifelike, actually. Indeed, glue man. <clears throat> Okay, I, you know, and, and I did not really think of the Fallout universe as being like a, um, 
Um, what is the word? Like, I, I, I was not thinking of the corporations running the world kind of like they do. Um, oh, well, crap. I didn't mean to do this. Whoops. We're going to rebuild and we're going to do the whole skill thing. We're just going to leave this the way it is. Man. What did we have? We had... Sorry, sorry, y'all. Uh, this We dumped this. This was an 8. This was a 6. And this was a 6. Is that... That is what we had. We're going to leave that the way it is. We're going to pick skilled again so that we get the plus 10. It may be cheap, but we're doing it. And Wild Wasteland. Yeah, I just did it. Okay. I kind of wanted to save that because I was thinking maybe in the time between now and the next stream, uh, I would rethink the whole uh, melee thing. But yeah, I, I was not thinking that the world was so was quite as corporatized as it was. Um, almost cyberpunky, you know, in a way. I wasn't thinking of the Fallout universe that way. I was thinking more on the lines of, you know, America, hoorah. All right, so we got the Brock flower. We only got one of them. Let's go back to our favorite girl in the universe. And yes, you are correct, Glue Man. Um, I am a capitalist, and I'm a big fan of capitalism. But there is a, such a thing as post-late-stage capitalism. And that is definitely what's going on in the Fallout world. And it, if you think about our world today... And you have these multinational conglomerates, like tech companies, for example, like Google or Apple, right? Um, imagine a war breaks out between the United States and China. Well, Google, being big in both the United States and China, is going to lose its proverbial ass in such a war. And there's literally nothing stopping them from... There's some gourds here. There's literally nothing stopping them from raising their own army and saying, you know what, U.S. and uh, China, you need to back the hell off and forcing the issue violently. Um, and when that happens, then, you know, your question of, well, what is a nation? What is the difference between a nation and a corporation, right? The line gets blurry. And as Glue Man says... In the Fallout universe, it was capitalism unchecked that literally messed with things, and um, and it like when you know Philippe, who is in the chat, has not seen the last episode, uh, or I think the last he's only seen the first half of this episode seven. So uh, don't spoil the very end of this. But when we find out how the war happened. This the the entire uh, life in the wasteland is a giant mind fuck. Like if you just think about it, it's 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 very crazy. Um, so let's see. Here we're back. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine, just fine. Mm -hmm. All right now, just we're gonna be fine. making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Love how she said Go that. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Give it a try. I'll do it. Activate campfire. Healing powder. This is cool. I like this. Now we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to accept one. Hey, that's not bad, see? I did it. All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. It is. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, 
She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Will do. And again, I... In Fallout 3, I instantly bonded with Moira. And uh, I, I think I'm... I'm thinking I'm like an old Sunny. She seems like a gal you can... You can count on when the chips are down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, to your point, Glue Man, not to get too political. The, the the one of the saddest things about the presidential race is we're faced with a choice between the same two candidates, who, in my opinion, are both equally awful. Um, but you know, um, that's that's where I'm going to leave that. And, and it's a reflection of just how messed up our system is. You know, the person who your party runs for candidate should be the best of the party, should represent the best of the party. And if the best of the party is those two, then that speaks volumes. Okay, so the shovel... Um, maybe I walked right past it. If you'll indulge me a little bit, I will. We're gonna turn this off right fast. I do love the music in this game; it's very on point, but it's also very uh, copyright strikey. So, so you said it was near the wells. There's a trailer over here. I'm gonna check this. What are you doing? Okay. I'm sure I'll find one, and I, I don't know if anything um, is worth getting. What are you doing? Hey. Barton Thorne. Hello? Can you help me? Are you a scammer? Uh, I got my own problems. I could pay you. Could you? You look real trustworthy. 50 caps or I'll walk, yep. Yeah. I'll give you whatever you want. Just hurry. I don't know, man. Where is she again? What? Fine, what's My wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. I think this is a setup. Goodbye. Bastard. You're just like everyone else around here. No, I'm smart. I'm hit. <laughs> this guy rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, and he looked like, uh, you know, a nice pile of stuff. I'll just take it all. I'm pretty sure that I was about to get led into an ambush. Do, do, do. What is this? Harmonica. Uh, do, do, do. All in a day's work. It's going to get dark. It's going to get dark. I need to get back. I need to not get distracted by... Lord knows what all. There's a fire over there. I definitely don't want to go over there yet. If there's a fire, it means these people. Am I wanting to do melee? Now, now I'm wondering. Should I have... I'm, I'm kind of enjoying going around hacking people up with a machete. Is that is that a problem? I don't know. Yeah. So here is one of the wells. Again, uh, digging things up is probably not uh, super important, is it? Yeah, I think you're onto something, Glue Man. I myself am not a very extreme person. I extremely believe in the right to free speech. And that's about as extreme as I get. There's a coyote. Oh no, that's Cheyenne. What are you doing out here, Cheyenne? You're going to get killed. Could be a shovel over here. Uh, 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 uh. 
Here we go. Save it. Do 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 do. We're going. We're walking along. Doing so good. Well, each party's brand here is, uh, the, of the two parties, is basically, I'm not the same as that bastard over there. Um, and different flavors of that. There, there's, there's not really a decent platform, and what there is on the platform is very extreme stuff. On both sides. Both the Democrats and the Republicans are pretty extreme in, in their stupidity, and their, there's some things that both parties are pushing that I really, really don't like. But yet I have to choose, right? So it's like having to choose between having your arm cut off or your leg cut off. Uh, Victor, what are you doing here, man? Howdy, partner. Is this your house? Do you have your own house? Happy trails. You live here? I do. He, this is sweet pad. All right, we'll check that out later. Victor's house. You know, Bra Brazil, uh, it's my understanding that it is pretty volatile there, politically speaking. And, uh, again, you know, I'm looking at, at that through the lens of an American. And realizing that most of the news that I get here is heavily propagandized to make me think a certain way. But in some ways, it's even more salacious than somewhere like Russia, where it's pretty obviously propaganda in Russia. But in the United States, the propaganda here is very small and very much by degrees. Um, yeah, I'm done I don't want to get too bogged down if you don't hand Ringo over soon Ooh. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground burning it down we'll keep that in mind now if you're not gonna buy something get out yeah I just wish I wish some days that we had a third party here in the US that was sort of centrist you know let let the crazy wing nuts on, on the extreme right the fascists have their own party let the commies on the left have their own party and then let the sane people be in the middle. Uh, but that'll never happen without massive upheaval. Because it all comes back to money. And Trudy just walked right past me probably to go to her house. Go to sleep or something. Some of a gun. That's what I get for talking about politics. Shame on me. I'm pretty sure I, I remember again I played this game in when it was 2010 is that when it came out yeah she goes to bed so let's just chase her down out here like a fool hey, hey. well you've been causing quite a stir why Glad yeah I finally got to meet you welcome Me to too. the prospector saloon yeah well and we're kind of not in the saloon but that's okay I know what it's like to be on rails you know show me what you got for sale I overheard the argument yeah what was that all about Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Well, isn't that life About in the wasteland? This traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs mm. a place to hide. Okay. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Hmm. Do I really want to get involved with this? Hmm. Let's find more info. Where is this Ringo? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Well, I don't mean murder per se. Trudy, you gotta understand, there's nuance in this world. Well, what are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Well, that'd be pretty good. Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. Hmm. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. 
Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. See, that's a faction that my character has never heard of before. So that's very interesting. The, and this goes back to the TV show too. I think they did the factions well. How there are uh, characters I think made mention a few times about how new factions are springing up all the time. And also I liked how it was a pretty common thing in the show for you to kill someone and then take their clothes or take, you know, take their weapon or whatever. It, it was very on point for the game. And I think it was Lucy who said at one point, um, she, she made some mention. I don't remember which episode this was, but it was later on about how she's always getting distracted or, or no, maybe it was the ghoul. Like one thing about the wasteland is that, if you think you're going one place, you, you're really not, you know, I, I don't remember now how it was worded. I should have written it down, but it was so hilarious. Um, obviously the showrunner and the writers for the show understand the games pretty well. Anyway, never mind. All right. I'm just yammering on Trudy. You got to overlook me. I was wounded in the head and I'm going on and on about something called a TV show. And it, I don't even know what that is, but you, you just got to overlook me. What happens if I help Ringo? Yes, Glue Man, everyone trying to save the wasteland, just doing it a different way. And that's, that's you know, that's uh, very much uh, what we see in the games. Um, although they're not always trying to save the wasteland, sometimes they're trying to save themselves, but... Uh, and that leads us full circle back into war never changes, right? Because everyone has a different idea of how to move forward and that causes conflict. And then, you know, you're, you're in a place where Shady Sands gets a nuke. Um, let's see. We already asked her about that. Hmm. <clears throat> trying to track down the people who attacked me. You know anything about them? Not much. Other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. Oh, really? I was able to get them to pay up, though. Mm. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And oh. it hasn't been working since. What a turd. Uh, did they say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Hmm. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. There's death claws there, right? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Mm. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Seems like I remember there being death claws there. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Okay. If the fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, mm -hmm. he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Hmm. Want me to take a look at your radio? I'm I'm uh, um, good at repair. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. May have. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world, and that Mister New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Yeah, I love to hear it too, but I don't like copyright strikes. But I will fix your radio. Do you get many visitors here? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes, um, one of the things that sort of dawned on me while I was watching the show that I had not thought about before is just how appropriate the name Fallout really is. It has multiple meanings, right? So there's the fallout of literal fallout when you have nuclear bomb going off or any bomb. Uh, and when a bomb explodes, things go up into the air. And then when that stuff comes back down, that is fallout. It is nuclear fallout if it was a nuclear weapon, but any bomb can create fallout. Any explosion can create fallout. But um, fallout also has a symbolic meaning. <clears throat> 
you know, the fallout. We have to deal with the fallout, meaning a phrase, meaning uh, we have to deal with the aftermath of whatever it is, whether it be a bad decision, whether it be a war, whether it be a divorce, whether it be a murder, whether it be, you know, a bad business contract, whatever it is, we're dealing with the fallout. And it is a concept that echoes on and on and on long after the Great War is over. And, um, yeah, that it, it's, it's, it's as deep as you want it to be. Okay. Uh, well, anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Mm hmm. Yeah, I imagine. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. Mm -hmm. I'd even set you up with a discount. Oh, really? Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. Of course it would. And they've got a lot of friends out there. It's a balancing act, right? Uh, well, what if I help the powder gangers? That's something our character would absolutely ask. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. I understand that. Okay, do you know that robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly mm. keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Mm. So, I think Easy Pete told us that Trudy is suspicious of Victor. And I have to admit, I am too. What does he actually do? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. Hmm. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Yeah. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Hmm. Well, point taken. How long has he been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Hmm. Well, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. You probably want to go home and go to bed. So, uh, I'll, well, tell me about the NCR. I know about the NCR, but I'm interested in knowing what Trudy thinks. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Spread too thin. Hmm. All right. Well, why do you think they both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. All right. Probably. Well, tell me about the Legion, Slavers, then I'll let you go. Killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Hmm. Well, we'll learn more about that later. Thank you, Trudy. Be careful out there. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's see. Let's see. Where are we at? Quest-wise, offer to help Ringo. This Ringo thing this is going to be a monumental decision. I think we're going to see uh, a little bit more about Ringo. We're going to, you know, see what he's up to and see what he's all about. We'll go up to the gas station and check on him. But my friends, I've been going for almost two hours now. It's been a fast-moving two hours. Uh, but it is about time for me to go. Uh, it is knocking on 10 o'clock here on the east coast of the U.S. I really appreciate each and every one of you joining me. Uh, Glue Man, Philippe, SR2008, HP. Um, let's see, who else? Who else do we have? The game will pause here for just a minute while I window out. Um, Untouched Tray, yes, thank you so much for joining us this evening. And I think, I think that's everybody. Uh, I appreciate you all for coming uh, and making this uh, a special first stream. Just to let you know, I will be streaming this game in its entirety. I will not be doing pre-recorded episodes of this game. This one is so special that I want to share it with y'all. Um, 
And uh, since it's getting more and more uncommon to encounter someone who's never played this, um, I thought it might be fun to do it together. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you, SR2008, my friend. Thank you. Don't let the geckos bite. Same to y'all. Hey, DAR. Uh, good night, my friend, and thank you for joining. Um, I hope everybody has a great evening. Make sure you like the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Your support means everything to me. And I will catch you all soon. Keep an eye on the channel because I'll be scheduling the streams ahead of time. I haven't decided exactly what uh, what time we'll be doing the next one. HP, if you're still awake, my man, you're a trooper. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I know it is super, super late where you're at right now. Um, yeah, thank y'all. And I will see you real soon.